Hey, hey, good day. This is Brad. You know what? Uh, let's, uh, you know, we get some questions and people say, you know, use a Sharpie on the blade so that we can see uh, where the sharpeners are taking the Sharpie off of the cutting edge. And, uh, oh boy, that's that right on, son. Um, so I think we'll do that and then we're going to sharpen it up and I'm going to use one of my rectangles here. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and pop the top on the Sharpie and then uh, just drag this right down only on the only on the secondary bevel okay so just like this and then we'll do the same thing on this side oop I need to oop, tip it a little more or just do this to it just like that okay now hold still maybe you can see the difference okay so let's put the Sharpie away. And then uh, I think I'm gonna run it through the V-notch first. And the reason I might do that is because I wanna show you where the V-notch will make contact with the secondary bevel uh, on the knife. So let's get it down here like that. We're gonna put the knife in here like that. The knife goes right straight in just like this, not on the side like that, not on the side like that, but just like this. So I'm gonna tip it just a little bit and we're just going to run it through just a few times just like that okay now I can see it I don't know if you can but right now it's mainly on the very very cutting edge it's only doing about maybe two thousandths of an inch in from the cutting edge so that means that the, the v-notch isn't actually fitting the knife blade and that's something that I've said you know um, the notch uh, instead of being like that if it's straight up and down it's more on the very cutting edge than it is the whole surface so you'd actually have to run that through there a few times to get the v-notch and the bevel on the knife to actually fit all right so I'm, I'm gonna use the v-notch and then uh, we'll run it through you know this way like that and we're going to see uh, how much metal is taken off on the same angle as it is in the V-notch. So we just go like this. All right, don't press very hard. Just like that. All right, let's look. Ooh that's not just like a mirror. Oh, right, right in my eyes. Okay, so I'm going to hold still and you see the, the shine out there on the cutting edge. And then you actually see the black from the uh, Sharpie. Okay, so now if I use the open face, this straight line right here, all right, and just like this, then I guide the sharpener. And, holy cow, this is a, a chrome knife on a day like today. So I just run along like this, and I can see it all the way across, just like it's supposed to be. Slide it right on around, right on out towards the point of the blade. And come right on out. Tip the knife just a little bit, just like that. And right on out. Now I'm gonna hold still, and you look and see, there's almost no Sharpie or magic marker on there right now. Now the other side still has the black, that's the Sharpie magic marker, okay? And this side does not have. I like the open face uh, because I can determine what the angle, the bevel, the degree is, and just a couple of strokes like that, I can see whether I need to tip it up or tip it down. And that's part of the reason that I don't use the V-notch hardly ever. Now, on my kitchen knives at home, my chef knives like this, they're thin, they're not expensive, they're inexpensive knives. I'll actually run it through the V a few times and actually make the blade fit the V. And then after that, you just use it real gentle set it down, run it through the V, because I've already made it fit the V, it'll work like that. So I do like the V on my cheap kitchen knives at home. I don't like it on other blades. I love the outside here, the straight line uh, tungsten carbide sharpener. And then I determine what the bevel is, the angle and the degree. So go to sharpensbest.com, look for the uh, uh, rectangle sharpener, okay? And let's see, uh, I didn't run it through there very many times. I, I may have to actually 
Oh my gosh. I don't believe that. That's. <laughs> I, did, I didn't run it through there enough times. I didn't think to actually sharpen the knife. But there is something kind of cool when you run it through the V and it's only on the cutting edge. It really did sharpen the cutting edge really fast. A few more times through there, then we make the knife fit the 20 degrees, 10 and 10. Okay, 10 on this side, 10 on that side. And the knife will be really sharp and then it's easy to sharpen. So this is Brad Buckner, SharpensBest.com. You take care and you stay sharp out there.